Hi, I am Mr. Crocker, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about function machines, uh, or you could call them input-output tables. They're, they're really just the same thing. And the last time we talked about function machines and input-output tables, we talked about addition and subtraction. So today we're going to go a step further. We're going to talk about multiplication and division function machines. Okay. So <clears throat> much like addition, where if you have a, a, an input-output table and you put a number in, maybe you put in 1 and your rule is plus 2, out comes 3. If your number is 3 and your rule is plus, plus 3, out comes 6, right? So addition makes numbers get bigger. When you apply that rule, when you add 3, your number goes up. And since multiplication is just repeated addition, it has the same effect, but it has a bigger effect because it's repeating that addition, right? Instead of just adding three here, I'm multiplying by two or multiplying by three. So I thought it would be good to just go through a few function machines and show you applying a multiplication rule. Okay, and so that way you'll know what that looks like. So here we go. These are my input numbers. Right, start. Sometimes it just says x and y, but this is where I'm starting. The rule is times two. So I'm just going to take each number and multiply by two. One times two is two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six, eight, and ten. So if you look at this table and you're looking like this, you can see that all of my numbers got bigger. They doubled, okay? And another clue that you are looking at a multiplication table and not an addition table is that the jumps in multiplication grow. So what I mean by that is from 1 to 2, it only increased by 1. From 2 to 4, it increased by 2. And by the time we get to the bottom of our table, from 5 to 10, it has increased by 5. Okay, so the numbers are not just getting bigger. They're, they're growing more and more. They're taking larger and larger jumps because that's the effect of multiplication. Whereas if I were adding, if my rule was plus 2, it would be 1 to 3, 2 to 4, 3 to 5. The jump would always be 2. 5 would only go to 7. It wouldn't go all the way to 10. So when you see bigger jumps between the numbers, that's a multiplication clue. Okay, here's one that's times three. So three times three is nine. Three times five is 15, 21, 27, and 33. Okay, so again, we see the numbers went up. And we also see that they made larger and larger increases. So from three to nine, it went up six. From 11 to 33, it went up 22. Okay, so we're, multiplication makes bigger and bigger jumps happen as you use bigger numbers, okay? Times four, 10 times four, 40. 20 times four, 80. 120, 160, okay? My numbers are going up, and they're going up more and more. That's what multiplication looks like, okay? Now, on, on the opposite side of that, you will have division input-output tables, okay? And let's do one horizontally, because sometimes they will do this, right? They will draw the table like this, to where it's input, output. So let's just say that my rule is going to be divide by 2. So maybe I've got numbers like this, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. OK? So if I divide them by 2, because that's my rule, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 4, 5, okay? So with division, 
like subtraction, our numbers are getting smaller. Okay. And you can tell that it's division and not subtraction because if this if this was a subtraction machine and my rule was simply minus two, the, the jump, and I'm doing minus two here just to show you what that looks like. The jump would always be two, right? From 10 to eight is only two. Well, when I divided, the jump was from 10 to five was five. When I divide, you know, 10 minus, I jumped five, I jumped four, I jumped three. The, the difference between the input and the output will increase or decrease depending on the size of the number. Whereas with subtraction, okay, both of these make numbers smaller, but subtraction always takes off the same amount, chops off two off of every number. Whereas dividing in two is cutting it in half. And those halves can be big if it's a big number, okay? So let's look at another division machine, okay? My rule is divide by three. Okay, 12 divided by three would be four. 15 divided by three would be five. 18 divided by three is six. 21 divided by three is seven. So division makes numbers smaller. 21 became seven, that's smaller. And it doesn't take the same amount off of each number, okay? So from 12 to four, that, you know, if I'm not sure what the rule is here, let's say I'm looking at this table and I'm trying to figure out the rule. I might look at 12 to four and go, okay, it made it smaller. It made it smaller, so I'm either subtracting or dividing, okay? From 12 to four, that's minus eight. So let's see if it continues to be minus eight. 15 minus eight, that's seven. So this one wasn't minus eight, it was minus 10. And this one's minus 12. So when, when that happens, okay, this is a clue that you are not dealing with a subtraction input output machine, you are dealing with a division machine, okay? Because if it were subtraction, it would be going down the same amount each time. So if you're not super comfortable with division, right, with asking yourself, is that divided by three? If that kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to you, you can just think multiplication. So I can ask myself here, four times something will make 12. And that might be easier. So like I might know, I might know that four times three is 12, okay? And then I can see if that continues to work. Five times three is 15. Six times three is 18. Okay, so this is working. This is continuing to get me to the other number. But when I say times, that's like going this way, right? So if it's multiplication going this way, right? Seven times three is 21. Then coming back this way, it will be division. So four times three is 12. 12 divided by three is four. 15 divided by three is five. 18 divided by three is six. Okay. Let's look at one and try to figure out the rule. Okay, let's just say, here's my, okay. Okay, what's the rule for that machine? Well, three to nine, did my number get smaller or bigger? Definitely got bigger and they continue to get bigger. Okay, so it's I'm either adding or I'm multiplying. 
from three to nine, that's plus six. Okay, if I do seven plus six, will that get me 21? No, seven plus six is 13. To get to 21, I have to do plus 14. This is plus 20. So when they're not the same, it's not addition. It's a multiplication rule. Okay, that's what I was talking about when I meant the jumps get bigger. So now I know I'm working with multiplication. So three times something makes nine. And that something is three. Okay, what seven times something is 21. If I'm right here, it should also be three. It is, seven times three is 21. Okay, 10 times three is 30. Okay. Now, okay. what is the rule for that table? Okay, going across here from in to out or from X to Y, whatever they want to call it, okay. I can say that from 10 to 5, it went down. So I'm either subtracting or dividing. Those are the two things that make numbers smaller. Okay. And this was minus 5. If it's a subtraction machine, minus 5 will continue to work. Well, 14 minus 7 is not 5. It's minus 7. And 18 minus 9 is 9. So it, the jumps are getting bigger. These numbers are getting farther apart. So it's not subtraction. It's division. Okay. So now I need to figure out dividing by what, right? So, well, how many fives does it take to make 10? It takes two fives. So 10 divided by two is five. Divide by two might be my rule, but I need to check it to make sure. And as I go through 14 divided by two, yeah, that's seven. Seven times two is 14. 18 divided by two is nine because nine times two is 18. Okay, so that's what division function machines will look like. Just remember multiplication makes them bigger, division makes them smaller, okay? And just try it. If you think you have the rule figured out, try it and see if it works. If it keeps working, that's right.